Hi, I'm Teresa Matic with INN Essentials, and today we're talking about the Lithium Outlook for 2016. In a roundtable interview published earlier this year, we spoke to four different analysts to get their insights on the lithium market. This included Chris Berry of House Mountain Partners and the Disruptive Discoveries Journal, Joe Lowry of Global Lithium, Andrew Miller of Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, and John Hikeway of Stormcrow Capital. Lithium has been getting a lot of attention this year because it's actually doing pretty well amidst a broader route in commodities prices. There are a number of reasons behind that, but the main ones are that demand is increasing, especially from the battery sector, where there's not a lot of new supply coming online in the near term. It's important to note that while that might sound like good news for lithium investors, according to the analysts we talked to, it isn't actually that simple. The lithium market is actually pretty opaque, so the main way that investors get exposure is to invest in lithium producers or explorers, and from that perspective, cost production is the most important factor to pay attention to. Investors should keep an eye on production costs, as new players entering the space will need to keep costs low in order to compete with existing players. Looking ahead to 2016, all eyes will be looking on any new supply set to come online. For example, Oracobra was working on ramping up production at its facilities in Argentina last year. It saw some delays, but it has been making progress, and analysts say that if it's successful, new supply on the market could help relieve some pressure in 2016. Galaxy Resources in Australia is another company worth paying attention to from that perspective. Tesla will also continue to get a lot of attention next year. The company's new lithium-ion battery gigafactory in Nevada is expected to, not surprisingly, need a whole lot of lithium. However, it's worth noting that Tesla is far from the biggest end user in the lithium space, and lithium investors should be paying attention to other factors. For example, there are at least four other lithium-ion battery gigafactories set to come online. China is also becoming more and more important for the lithium space, as producers in China continue to take more market share. Joe Lowry of Global Lithium has written extensively about this, and you can read about it in his posts on LinkedIn or on investingnews.com. Also, investors will be keeping an eye on Argentina, as the company's elections last year brought a fairly significant political shift, and that could mean big changes for the lithium industry and for the mining industry in Argentina in general. Companies to watch in 2015 include some of the world's larger lithium producers, such as Chile's SQM, China's Gangfeng Lithium, or Albemarle, which closed its acquisition of Rockwood Lithium in early 2015. Smaller companies to watch mentioned by the investors we spoke to include Western Lithium, Namaska Lithium, and again, Galaxy Resources and Oracobra. That's just a brief introduction to the Lithium Outlook for 2016. To get more information, check out the link to the full report below, and don't forget to subscribe to INN Essentials for more updates.